Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. In the part one, we have seen about the interface. So we have explored about what is interface, what is uh, how to use uh, how to use the interface in our programming. So in this video, we will see about abstract classes. Okay, what is abstract class? Abstract class is like a class, but it will have abstract methods. Abstract methods means a method which won't have any implementation. Only you can have the method declaration in the abstract class. Okay. We have certain rules to use abstract classes. Uh, first, abstract class cannot be instantiated. I mean, you cannot create object for the abstract class. So, abstract class has to be extended by any other class and for, for that class you can create an object. So, if any child class is extending an abstract class, that child class should implement all the abstract method of the parent class. If you are not implementing, if you don't have any information to implement the abstract, abstract methods, you just need to define the child class also as an abstract. Okay. You can ask me the question, uh, interface also having the only method declaration, abstract class also having method declaration, I mean the abstract methods. So where to use interface and where to use abstract classes, what is the use of abstract classes? Okay, so if you are designing a software, if you know only the uh, partial implementation and you the client has to implement the other part of the implementation means, you can go for the abstract classes. In the case of interfaces, when you don't have any implementation idea, you're just creating a blueprint, you can go for the interfaces. So client has to implement everything. So abstract classes are partial abstraction and the interfaces are like full uh, abstraction. Okay, now we will see a program how to create abstract classes and how to use that in your programming. So I have created a program called abstract I employee details. This is abstract class. So I told you abstract class can have abstract method and as well as the concrete methods. Concrete methods means the mature method we can have which can have implementation. But this abstract classes should not have any implementation. Okay. So this abstract method should be implemented by the child class which is implementing this abstract employee details class. Okay, so uh, we will see a, a Java program, I mean subclass which is going to implement this abstract class and which is going to uh, utilize this abstract method. Okay, here I have created a program called HR, uh, HR class. So I have told you when you want to uh, extend the abstract class, you have to implement all the abstract methods inside the abstract class. So here in the employee details, we have abstract method, abstract confidential details. So this method has to be implemented in the uh, child class, which is uh, hacha.java. So here I have given the implementation for the confidential details method. So I'm just passing some um, uh, salary and performance and I'm, I'm assigning that passing values to uh, class variables and I'm just printing. I'm having this as an implementation for this abstract class. Okay. And uh, here I have, this is the main method. Uh, in the main method, I have created an object for the HR uh, uh, class. Using this HR object, I'm going to call this confidential details method. And uh, I'm going to pass this variables salary as 5000 and uh, this uh, performance P string value for string value. I'm going to pass good as a string values. Okay. Now I, I will run this uh, hr.java uh, and I'll show you the output. Uh, right click run as Java application. See salary 5000 which I have passed has has been uh, have come arrived as output and also this good the string has been uh, passed and this has been uh, printed in the output. Okay in the part one we have seen about the interfaces and this part two we have seen about the abstract classes. 
so in this tutorial you have seen uh, wh what is abstract classes and uh, what are the benefits of abstract classes where to use abstract classes and why we need to use abstract classes in our java programming thank you for watching the tutorial have a great day